or chefs. No, we, as Gordon Ramsay said. Turn her over, hold it down. Now, push it up in the butt. And then just hammer down. Get really nice and comfortable. Mm. <laughs> I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. But that go that's Gordon Ramsay. The Gordon Ramsay said that. Happy Feast of Winter Vale. Happy Feast of Winter Vale. Leave a comment down below if you know what game I'm talking about. Happy Feast of Winter. Happy Feast of Winter. It's one of my all time favorite games. I've been playing the game for. <laughs> Seven years? It's actually more. Eight years. It's a mobile game. I'm giving hints. So leave a comment down below if you know what game I'm talking about. Welcome to the first stage with Alicia. I don't know if I should say with Alicia. Just the first. Whatever. We're going off track already. Welcome to the first taste. Uh, it's a series where I taste foods because I've been allergic to majority of foods for all of my life. And now I can eat them. If you want to learn more, check the previous videos. But the short version is my wife decides what I eat, puts them underneath the stone and doesn't tell me. It's a surprise for me, it's a surprise for you. Oh, for them there. Subscribe, hit the bell notification button, like the video, comment down below what is something you would like to see me eat. And now, without further ado, let's see what today's dish is. Ah, uh, is this an ice cream? Oh, is this, a, this is ice cream. What is that smell? Chicken is that cookie? Is that cookie? Uh, no, it is not a cookie. Bye bye. Yeah, it has cookie. It's a cheesecake. Oh, this is a cheesecake. So this is my wife's interpretation of cheesecake, which is probably going to be <laughs> nothing like the American cheesecake. So leave a comment down below why my wife is one of the worst cooks ever. <laughs> or chefs. No, we, as Gordon Ramsay said. Turn her over, hold it down. Now. Push it up in the butt and then just hammer down. Get really nice and comfortable. Mm. <laughs> I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. But that go that's Gordon Ramsay. The Gordon Ramsay said that. But this is a cheesecake. Yeah, so I can finally... Well, cheesecake is actually kind of a hilarious thing because you can make cheesecake to be allergy friendly. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan, fan of trying anything that wasn't uh, my usual diet, so I just skipped it. And also, it's always a hassle to try and find some, like, chocolates or cookies or something that yeah, happens. Actually, finding cookies without peanuts or traces of them is actually quite hard. Yeah, finding cookies that doesn't have traces of nuts and almond mm -hmm. is really hard, so that's probably the reason why I just stopped trying. And especially if you go, like, to a... What, what are they called? They are not diners, they are called bakeries. Uh, if you go to a bakery, zero chance of walking out there with anything. It's nice to taste this. What, what sort of a cheesecake this is? I know there's like millions of them. It's this isn't the Boston cheesecake. Uh, no, is no. that one? I think some, something like that, yeah. Uh, that's a caramel cheesecake. So this is a caramel, caramel cheesecake. So uh, tell me the ingredients, let's see. Well, <laughs> Do you want me to try and guess them? Because <laughs> At the bottom. Okay, cookies and butter at the bottom. So cream cheese. Cream cheese. Caramel. Caramel. No, in the middle. We are still in the middle. Oh, cream in the middle. Cream cheese. Caramel. Where the fuck is it? Powdered the... sugar. Powdered sugar. And whipped cream. And whipped cream. Uh, what are these? Twix. Why? Just fucking eat it. Okay. Less is more. Marco, pure white. Some people put olive oil in. I never bother. Little splash of olive oil. Some people would say not necessary. There is beauty in simplicity. Marco Pierre White. That's a big spoonful. Let's see. Let's take one spoonful without the Twix. This is actually a really good combination of like di different textures and flavors. I don't like the Twixes in there. I think that kind of a ru ruins the thing. No, no, this, is, this was like, I, I would rather eat this without them. 
but it's a good combination. Like I'm not a, I, I'm in any way, I'm not a baker, I'm not a chef, but. I'm just telling you how I feel when I eat this. Like the crunchiness of the cookie uh, bottom, I think. Uh, the whipped cream, the cheese, the caramel, it's like, they're all combining in my mouth and it creates this beautiful harmony. Uh, I think this is really good. This isn't too sweet. I don't think I would eat more than one piece. Yeah, it's, it's cream cheese, so it's like, it's full. Cool. Yeah. It's really and nice. as you can see, it's really like, I like it that way, so if someone is here to say that it's not good enough, I like it. Uh, no, I was saying that it's really airy, because if, if I take a piece there, you can see the little air pockets. Yeah. And it's keeping, uh, keeping its, uh, it's keeping its form, so it means it's airy enough, but not too airy to just like melt away and it doesn't jiggle that much which is good because that would implement that something's wrong. I watched a lot of MasterChef so <laughs> if you think what the fuck I'm talking about all of my knowledge about anything comes from MasterChef and Gordon Ramsay. So this is actually really good. Uh, do I need to rate this? I'm gonna give it a 10. This a 10. And I need to retract my chocolate pudding to 8.5. So chocolate pudding is now 8.5. What did I say this was? Okay, this is the 10. I'm gonna give this a 9.5 because if there's anything better, hope in the tiramisu. I've got caramel stuck in my teeth. But this was great. I, I want more of these. Thank you. Not those fucking banana things. Banana pepper, motherfucking god, what's that? Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I love you, especially you. You who you, the one who who's watching. I love you the most. See you guys on the next one.